Yo, what's up everybody? So today I'm gonna to show you how I stem out a whole session in Cubase. Check it out. So first things first, we're gonna make sure our stereo bus is at zero dB. You always want your stems to be at zero dB. Uh, the next thing is I'm gonna make sure all of my buses are off and also set to zero dB. So this in Cubase turns the uh, inserts on and off. So all my buses are off. Let me go down through the list really quick. Every one of them. Yep, and this one was not set to zero dB. So we set that to zero dB, everything here. Yeah, the base bus, it's base MIDI, so it doesn't really matter, but I'll do it anyway. Um, next thing we're going to do is just kind of listen here and see, make sure everything's off DIYs. So the DI is the drive files, and that's what I want. That way I could reamp them. So cool, now that we're all set up here, the first thing I'm going to do is set my cursor markers for the MIDI that I want to export, okay? And sometimes I would leave these cursor markers at the beginning of the song, but it doesn't necessarily matter because for this part, I'm just saving time uh, because the, the drums and the bass come in later in the song anyway, so it's easy to tell where it goes. So I'm gonna go up here to export MIDI. Label it as drums. So make sure you set your directory on where you want it to go. Next. Cool, now we're done. So the next thing I wanna do is I wanna render all of this, but I don't wanna do it one by one. So we have everything off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to export. Well, first off, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to drag our cursor back to the first measure here. And I'm doing that because uh, if I were to mix it or if somebody else were to mix it, you always wanna be able to drag in everything out of a folder and it all align perfectly and not have to find anything. So with that being said, got all this extended and we're gonna go down here to export audio mix down. We're gonna find the directory and we're gonna do that. So first things first, we're gonna look at our presets here. Uh, obviously we want wave because that's the most high quality file. Um, the next thing is all these effects that I have down here, all of these that are printed, I still have effects and certain plugins on these that I wanna maintain, I wanna keep in the final mix. So um, even though they might be a print of like a guitar or something I did, I still processed it further once it was printed. So always make sure that this is set. I don't know what it's like in other DAWs, but in Cubase, this is, you know, um, this is the uh, master slash group slash sends. So all of my inserts and stuff will apply, all my prints on all these tracks. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna make sure multiple is checked right there. And I am going to start selecting audio tracks. And as you can see, they are already pre-selected. Uh, let's see, all of these, yep, that's all good to go. You wanna make sure everything that you're bouncing is checked. So now, after we're done, we have it going to our directory. Uh, file type is WAV file 44, uh, 24, everything's perfect. We're just gonna start bouncing. And it, this, is, this process typically takes me like maybe five to 10 minutes, depending on how many tracks. There's like 40 something tracks in this session, so it's probably only gonna take like five minutes, but this is what it looks like. Hey, thanks for watching, and if you like these videos, please subscribe, and make sure you check out my Patreon, where I go live every week and I answer all your questions in real time, and I get more in depth on how I write music and how I mix.